you know, I accepted this project because she is one of the world's most glamorous women and she's truly an icon. The setting is in 1986, but it doesn't stop me from also just watching everything about her. Sa akin po, nahirapan ako kasi po syempre kilala natin si Miss Irene na The Quiet One. So, naghanap ako sa YouTube paano siya magsalita, paano siya mag... paano yung posture niya. Pero, ang konti sobra. So, talagang yung feeling ko, isa sa... Isa sa um, si Miss Irene yung pinaka um, hindi natin masyadong nakikita. So, Yun, yun. I research, I try to research. Um, buti na lang meron ako nakita. Mas recent kasi yung mga nakikita ko eh. Hindi katulad ng mga 1980s. Wala masyadong videos si Miss Irene. So, I really have to um, look pa talaga ng marami and, and read some articles. And actually, si Direk Daryl nga po, eh, balita ko nakakausap niya si Miss Irene. So, if given a chance, I would love to talk to her to ask about what she feels during those days. So, yun po. <laughs> uh, sa akin din, ganun din, katulad ni Ella, it's, it's hard to find um, a lot of videos of uh, Sir Bongbong nung, uh, when he was in his 30s. At yung mga nahanap ko naman, but I English po siya, English share po talaga siya. Uh, the way he speaks English is a, is a lot like I speak English, and his mannerisms are a lot like mine. So I've been studying him also. But uh, mas marami mga videos sa YouTube ng uh, campaign niya, which is recent, of course. So it's the it's the older him already. So I'm, every now and again, I still find some new videos na hindi ko pa naikita pala na videos of uh, Sir Bongbong nung in his thirties. And kinagaya ko lang po kung paano siya magsalita na konting Tagalog niya, it's English. And I spoke to Direk Daryl and the entire script is Tagalog. I hope I'm not breaking my, my, my waiver there. But I can't speak English, so puro Tagalog kami. So inaaral ko po siya sa Tagalog pa rin. What, but with his mannerisms, the mannerisms he had before. So yun po. You know, even before um, this project was offered to me and the role, I was already watching a lot of, a lot of documentaries on uh, Madame Imelda because she is my favorite. And that's the reason why, um, you know, I accepted this project because she is one of the world's most glamorous women and she's truly an icon. The setting is in 1986, but it doesn't stop me from also just watching everything about her, you know, from the time... She gave birth from the time she was born to her love story until today. So I really learned something from Cesar when we were um, doing the look test. And sabi niya, nako, ayan lahat ng mga pictures, ha, Rufa, paprint mo na. Kailangan matulog ka na. na nasa isip mo si Imelda, nasa brain mo si Imelda, kasi yun daw ang ginawa niya nung ginawa niya yung Jose Rizal movie. Natulog daw siya, nakatabi daw niya si Jose Rizal. So, I will be sleeping with Imelda on my mind until this movie is shown. That's basically it. <laughs> <laughs>